Hello guys, welcome to our blockchain channel. In this video, you will learn how to create a digital marketplace. A marketplace to sell your digital products. Your digital products like ebooks, like software, like designs, anything the user can download. This is a digital product. Okay, first let's see a demo about your uh, marketplace. Go to zeroxfactory.com and here from the home page, you will find a digital marketplace. Click live demo. The contract.zeroxfactory.com will open. This is a demo, a live demo of your digital marketplace. You will create something like that. Very simple and very practical marketplace. You can put here your products like software, like epochs, like designs, anything the users can download and of course the user can click buy now and by using your token, if you have a token, you can make it as a payment method or BNB, USDT, USX and USDC. Okay, so you will sell your products using cryptocurrencies. By the end of this video, you will learn how to create a marketplace like that. And of course, it is completely free. Okay, let's go to the zeroxfactor.com and start the first step is, is downloading the script. Here, click start now. Or also, if maybe because this is a home page, maybe uh, another items will add it and uh, the digital marketplace will remove in the future, you can find also here in the free depths. Okay, and click download now. After you click download, it is just about four megabytes of file. Okay, let's open it. You will download this file, 0xstore.zip. Extract this file and open the folder. Here you will find some logos. Of course, the first step is changing or replacing this logo by your own logo. This is the default logo. Upload here your own logo instead of this logos and the FIB icon, of course. Now we need to do some configurations. Actually, the configurations is very, very simple. The first thing we need to change the title, this one, and the header, this one. And of course, you need to add another menu like this one and add here your social links. And of course, add your products, how to do that. Okay, the first step we need to open config.json file. This file, config.json. Open this file by any text editor, for example, not bad. Okay, here we can find the owner wallet. Type here your owner wallet, replace this wallet by your wallet because the owner wallet will receive the payments when someone be using BNB or USDT or any other token the payment will send to this wallet so the first step replace this wallet by your own wallet if you have a token and you want to make this token accepted at the payment you need to bought this data the token name your token name here your token symbol your token contract your token price for example, 15 cents and token enabled true. True means you want to accept your token at the payment like that. If you don't have a token or you don't want to accept your token, just make this false. Okay, let's back again, undo to make it true. And here the text logo or the logo text, smart contracts. It will be here, replace this with your own text and here the title download solidity smart contracts it will be shown here okay after that the telegram twitter facebook and instagram social links it will show in here okay so replace all this data with your own data after that save this file and close this is the first step second step we need to change the menu this menu okay home create a token of course you have another menu how you can change this menu to change the menu open the file menu.json open this file by any text editor okay and change this values this is the text and this is the link you can remove or add or change anything you can add here your token by the same way as a json file 
after you finish your menu save the file and close the last step is put the products open products.json by any text editor also here you will find uh, a products or the products shown on the website like the like this one like this one and this one okay how to put my own product of course remove all these products and add your own product the first thing is the title the title of the product it will be shown here this is the title for example okay after that the description this description will show in here as a description of the product after that the image okay so you can save the images in image folder here like that and put here the image file name or you can also uh, host this image file in another website and put here the link of the image okay after that download link after the user will pay this amount for example five dollars the system automatically will redirect him to download the file this file for example type here on the download link the download link of your product when the user after finish payment he will download this file after that the price this is the last thing the price will show here on the price okay and add any number of products you want and of course don't forget to type a comma between every item and the last item don't type a comma okay after you finish putting all your products save this file and close it now your files are ready full ready for upload just upload all these files to your subdomain it is better to be a domain or subdomain don't make it a folder like your website.com slash store don't make it like that it is better to be store dot your website dot com or direct to the domain like your website dot com direct i hope this video is useful for all thanks for watching and good luck